Hi all, I'm Vladimir. You're watching the BeamerDoc channel. Today we'll be working with E-Series. More specifically, we, today we have E70, that's facelift X5. The problem we are going to fix today is automatic tow hitch. Actually, it's kind of a common problem on a lot of different cars. Uh, if some part of that system is malfunctioning, basically those are the motors that are rotating that automatic tow hitch, the system will give error, and that's critical error. It is highlighted as a red. And what does it mean? Basically, every time you're driving your car, it error is in front of your eyes. If you have head-up display, it's always in front of your eyes. And because it's a red error, as you can see on that one, it means that you even cannot ignore that. You show, uh, you can just click OK to disappear. It disappears for a couple of seconds and again appears. Basically, it's, it's very inconvenient to use your car. And today we'll be fixing that. See how. <laughs> So, let's go inside the car and see how does it look. Uh, we will start the car. And the error will come up. As you can see, the hitch error is, uh, did light up. And exactly the same error is in front of your eyes. And that's red error, as I told. What does it mean? Even if you push to hide it, or hide it through that or whatever other button, it will appear again. Exactly the same error is also present here. Trailer tow hitch. And by the way, if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. I really appreciate that. Uh, that will really help me to grow my channel. Also hit the like button and share that video. Thank you. So today's job I'll divide into two parts. The one is physical removement, removement of the ECU and the second one is coding. So part one. Why it's very important to physically remove the ECU from the car? Uh, because if you go straight to the part two coding and decode that option out from the car, if that ECU is still present in the car, the car will know that something is wrong. Basically the same ECU will continue sending signals to the car. So, hey guy, I'm present here and something is wrong with me. That's why even if you do all the right coding without disabling the ECU itself, it will not help. So step one, disabling the ECU. If you don't know where all the issues are located, basically use ISTA. ISTA will show what's wrong with the car, where the ECU is located, uh, where are the fuses, where are the plugs, what you have to disconnect and so on. But because I was already doing that job several times, I'll just uh, go and show you straight away where to go and what to turn off. For that specific model, the ECU is located inside the trunk. You go, you open the trunk and on the right side, there is a special ECU you have to disconnect. On some systems, there might be possibility that there's even more than that one ECU. So if there is more than one, you have to disconnect both three of those and so on. It's depending how the system is built and how many ECUs are controlling that. So for trailer hitch, uh, let's go open the trunk. And as I told, the ECU will be located in the right side. So it's straightforward. You just remove uh, that trim part away. And here are different issues. Uh, basically, we need uh, that one. You just uh, pull it off. And as you can see, no, no label here. Uh, you can see, I'll turn it for you for better convenience. Uh, you can see AHM. AHM, it's ECU for a trailer hitch. Just unplug that plug and you'll be done. So as you can see, I have removed that ECU and we should be fine with that. If that will be not enough, there is also a second ECU. Uh, that's, uh, pardon, uh, that one. Sometimes it's also required to disconnect uh, that one also. Uh, for the first time, I will leave that ECU still connected. As you can see from the label, it's AHV2. Uh, I have to look up uh, exactly for what that issue is, respon is responding. If we will be unable to fix the error by removing only that issue, that issue might also be needed to remove. But we will see that. Let's try first coding the car, removing that issue only. Now, step one is done. We have physically disconnected the issue. Let's go to step two. Uh, that will be the coding. We will use NCS Expert for that operation because that's E-series. I will also use... Uh, 
uh, VCX SE uh, to connect to that car. It's also possible to code with DCAN cable or ICOM. Actually, it doesn't matter because we're doing only the coding and diagnostics. Uh, so DCAN is also fine. For today's coding, I will use uh, that guy. It's uh, Wi-Fi based. It's really convenient to work with that. Basically, that's the uh, Chinese tool. Uh, it imitates that. It, basically, it's the same as ICOM. The only difference is that you cannot reprogram the head units of the E-Series, but all other jobs like coding, programming, diagnostics can be done with that easily. And let's go do some coding. Uh, I'll be doing it like really quick in my own tempo. If you feel that it's too quick for you, just uh, uh, pause the video and see the part you haven't understand again. I will slow down a bit for your better convenience. The first one, we have to connect to the car. We will use uh, ECU connect for that, uh, easy connect for that. Ignition have to be on or uh, engine uh, should be running, one of those. If you're making it on ignition, uh, turn, all, turn off all the uh, electronic devices like headlights, uh, climate control and so on. Uh, let's see if we have connection with the car. Uh, it doesn't see the ignition at the moment. I'll start the car for a bit. Uh, still no ignition visible. But I can see the voltage. Uh, that will be enough. Uh, that's why ignition is okay. Now I should see all the needed ECUs. We are the NCS expert. Connect to the car. That's E70. We're choosing to read from uh, CAS or FRM ECU. The vehicle have been uh, read out. Uh, we need to change the vehicle order. So the option we will be looking for is called 3AC. That's responsible for trailer coupling. Uh, we can see three, actually we don't see three AC. Uh, sometimes if the option is retrofitted, it can be down there. Well, let's just scroll it down. And actually, yes, I can see plus three KAC. Uh, it's not standard solution, but it means that that car uh, was developed from the factory without the trailer hitch and it was retrofitted, it was actually dealer retrofitted to that car. So we have to remove that option. Let's just remove that and press OK. And the first thing we need to do is to save the new FA to the car. We'll just read the CAS ECU, FA saved there. Uh, correction, not that one. Change job. We need to save to write that vehicle order to the unit. It's been written now. And now we have to code uh, several units. The first one we'll be coding is CAC, that's the head unit. Uh, turning ignition on now. Uh, reading it out. It has been read out and we need to code it. Uh, to code that, basically we need to code that with the empty man file. I'll just double check if my man file is empty. Yes, uh, man file, you can see zero kilobytes, it means it's empty. If I'll code with the empty man file, it means that all the set uh, settings will be restored to the factory settings according to the FA I have changed. And let's just code the CIC. The next ECU will be coded will be the, our cluster. It's called Combi. We also need to code uh, GBBF. Uh, it's our uh, fuse box. And also code the BD PDC that's responsible for the uh, parking sensors. But let's make it step by step. So CIC is coded. The next one, uh, Combi. It's our cluster. How do I know uh, which ECUs to code? Basically, you have to know the structure of the car, uh, what ECU is connected uh, to what, and how they're communicating with each other. That's why, after removing the 3AC FA option, you just have to code the right ECUs, and the job will be done. As you can see, I'm not doing that job for the first time. That's why the speed is a bit greater than the average user, 
but the process is important. So the third one is G J uh, BBF, that's the fuse box. The principle is the same, you are connecting to the ECU, you're reading it out, and then you're coding it with the empty man file. If you haven't saved anything between there to the man file, uh, then you don't have to check it every time, it will remain empty. And execute. And I would also like to code uh, RPDC It's the ECU of uh, parking sensors. Why it's important? Uh, because uh, the unit, the AHL, uh, that's responsible for the trailer hitch, it's communicating with the parking sensors because when you're connecting, connecting something to a hitch, the parking system needs to know it has to disable the parking sensors. That's why the information about that ECU is also located there. We have to recode that. Basically, the job we are doing, we are telling the car, just forget that uh, coupling sensor, coupling uh, option. And let's see if we have something else. And that should be okay. And one more thing I would like to code, basically the gearbox. Uh, why? Because if you have a tongue hitch and you're connecting uh, some trailer, to the car, the gearbox work is also changed, but only when the trailer is connected. So I'll just uh, recall that. Now it should be okay. Uh, let's see if we have achieved the result. And now let's confirm it is a fix. Uh, let's uh, start the car. We can even wait and see if there are any errors appeared. At the moment it's still okay. Let's go here. As you can see everything is in German now. Let's switch language to the English. Uh, that one, Deutsch and English should be a bit more understandable. And let's check the control vehicles. Uh, vehicle status, check control. Uh, set date and time. It was resetted because I was coding the combi. We'll set that and add uh, washer fluid. That's it. You, there is no more error about the towing hitch. And now we can call it a fix. Step one was physical disabling of the ECU and step two was coding. I showed all the process from the beginning up to the end. Now the car is totally working. Uh, basically the step three it's also recommended to do is diagnostics. So now I'll run the diagnostics and just make sure there are no error present about that system. I will make that offline in order not to waste your time because time is the most important. If you like that video, hit the subscribe. Thank you for watching for the end and see you next time. Bye.